So over the past three days, we've spent quite a lot of money here and not made much back at all, which is not good. But you guys, when you are testing, you're going to be doing it far slower than me. Um, you're not going to be as devil may care. And you're going to be more concerned about your budget, especially if you're starting out. You aren't going to be as haphazard as I have been with this. But I just really want to show you different methods of scaling out. And I want to show you the real results, like what can happen with Facebook ads. Um, one, if you're not careful. Two, if you are careful. And I'm still confident that I can turn this around. Like I'm losing money right now because I've spent £807 and generated 808 And I've had 10 purchases. And this has costed me money. And this product is, um, let's say, £20. It's just under £20. But this product is £20. So that's £200 right there. So I'm losing money. Um, there's no there's no way to, to sugarcoat it. But if you scroll down, as you can see, like a lot of these ad sets that I've duplicated to have just not been effective. They haven't been successful. Um, so what we have to do now is go through and kill all of the ones that haven't been successful. And what I'm going to do, because this product is costing me £20, I'm selling it at 50 I've got a profit margin of £30, but let's say 25 just to give myself a bit more room for manoeuvre to incorporate those payment processing fees and things like that. Let's say I can have a, a, a cost per purchase of £25. So those that have not yet spent £20, I'm going to keep running. Um, but if they spent 15 and they haven't had a website at the basket yet, I may kill them. But let's go through. That's good. That's good, but on the verge of losing money in terms of cost per purchase. But luckily, people in this ad set of, you know, their average order value is quite high. So we've got an eight times ROAS. This can be killed straight away. Basically, what I did here was I duplicated this to a higher budget, £25 daily. But as you can see, it just hasn't worked. Now, duplicating to higher budgets is a scaling strategy that many people suggest, and I advocate it too. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. You just have to play with these budgets. Now, this is an auto bid. And when you're playing with higher budgets around £100, it's better to go to a manual bidding strategy. But, you know, clearly I've, I've stuck to auto here because it's £25 daily, but it's just not worked as well as lower budgets work for me. So I'm going to kill it. And I'm not going to try that scaling strategy again with this product. This we've had an add to basket. This is my add to basket column. But it's cost us £31 to get that add to basket. So we're going to kill this as well. We do have a very low CPC, but what this tells me is they've clicked it and they haven't been interested or as interested in the product. They haven't been interested enough to add it to basket. 144 views of this product and one ad to, ba to basket is really, really appalling. What this tells me is I perhaps do need to do some work on the product page to make it more appealing. We're spending £3 per ad to basket. We've spent £16. I'm going to let this run. I'm going to leave it to continue to run. Um, I think it may get a sale pretty soon at around £20. £16, no add to baskets. Very, very expensive CPC here, so we're going to kill that. Again, no add to baskets, £16 spent, £74 CPC. I may kill that, we'll come back to that. One pound CPC, 95 pence CPC. Going to kill both of these. £12.50 
12 pence CPC. Now, this is good. This is really promising. It's only spent £16. Hopefully, we'll start getting some sales from this. We've got five ads to baskets, £3.20 per ad to basket. But again, we should be getting more than five ad to baskets from 171 product views. We really need to improve this product page, perhaps give it a better description or some new photos. We've already got some product reviews on it, but clearly it does need work. £1.23 CPC. £1.60 CPC. These US lookalikes have been the cheapest so far. And UK and Australia have been the most expensive. 173. Oh, and Germany's pretty expensive as well, 130. But we've only spent 11 and 12 pounds here. Gonna kill them. I'll leave the Germany look alike. It's worth noting that all of the um, the creatives in these ad sets are exactly the same, so I can't. So we can't say that. Oh, perhaps the CPC is so different and so such a large range. Perhaps it's to do with the ad creative. It can't be to do with the ad creative because I've used the exact same ad creative throughout this campaign. Um, so we'll kill. Now we'll leave them. Um, So that's all I'm going to do for now with this campaign. I've just killed the ad sets that I wanted to kill that I don't think are going to get me any sales or go anywhere. Um, I've still got a lot to look at to keep my eye on. So I'm going to be looking at this every day now, which is what you should really be doing, especially when you're in the beginning. You want to be doing daily reviews of your ad sets, just checking they're all right and running okay. But this can be what happens when you try to scale too early or when you try scale too much at once, maybe you should be looking at this video thinking, okay, I'm not gonna make those mistakes. What I'm gonna do is scale out to one country at a time and test each country at a time. Um, as you can see, the US seems to be giving me my results at the moment. So perhaps I should be focusing just on the US. But what I'll do is leave it here and uh, we'll come back to this. I'll come back to this in a day.